Hi, you're watching Yoga with AJ and today we're going to do Bhujangasan, the Cobra Pose. It's a gentle back bend, but a few precautions. If you've had a back injury or you suffer from carpal tunnel syndrome, avoid doing the pose. And definitely don't do the pose if you're pregnant. When we do this pose, you need to be very careful that you don't strain your lower back to get into the pose. So we start out on all fours, making sure your weight is evenly distributed on all parts of your palms, knees directly under your hips, hip width apart, inhale and stretch up, lift your chest. As you exhale, sit back and stretch your arms ahead. Let's try that again. Bring your hands back underneath the shoulders, directly under the shoulders, inhale and stretch up. You can even curl your toes under if you get better support this way. As you exhale, sit back, you can stretch your toes out under you, sit back on your heels, stay there for a while. And coming back up, walk the knees forward and just sit back for a moment. So we're going to have a look at the action when we move into the cobra. So you're going to draw the elbows in towards the body, not away, in, and press the shoulders down your back. Gently drawing the shoulder blades, that's this part of your back is your shoulder blade, down and gently in towards each other. And press the palms as if you're pressing them against a wall. Lengthen the neck and relax. Let's try that one more time. Press the shoulders down, bring the elbows in, draw the shoulder blades down the back. Lengthen the neck and relax. So that's the action of the shoulders gently pressing down your back and we're going to try and do that one more time with the arms. So you inhale and bring the arms up. As you exhale, draw the elbows up and place your palms on the shoulders. They can be higher on the shoulder blades. Try not to arch your back as you're doing that. Relax the navel, relax your chest and just draw up through the arms, press down with the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. Let's try that one last time. Inhale and stretch up. Shoulders down the back. Relax the hands onto your shoulder blades or shoulders. Press down gently with your shoulder blades. Make sure you're not arching in the lower back. Relax the stomach. And release. Let's see what happens with the feet now. We're going to lie down on our stomachs and that's where you'll be in the pose. I'd like you to just relax your upper body completely and focus on your legs. As you inhale, stretch your right leg up, point the toe. So you're stretching the entire leg, the hamstring all the way from the hip, entire leg working, relax. Make sure you continue to breathe, don't hold your breath. Inhale, bring the left leg up, lengthen the leg, grow long with the leg and relax. So that's the action that's happening in the legs. And let's try at first to just do a small variation, maybe a half cobra. It's also called a sphinx. Even when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you don't compress or shorten or press into your lower back. You want to lift through the stomach, through the chest and lift up rather than press down into your lower back. So you bring your elbows directly underneath the shoulders and press the shoulders down. 
there is a tendency sometimes to let this happen shoulders come up and the neck comes out like a turtle coming out of its shell you want to do the opposite you want to press the shoulders down lift from your navel all the way up till the chest and just look gently ahead now remember what happened with the legs when we stretch them there was that stretching feeling so press gently with your toes and the tops of your feet and gently drop the muscles at the tops of your knee caps look up keep breathing take three more deep breaths if your neck is comfortable you can look up and gently relax turn your head to the other side rest for a moment if you're in the crocodile pose you can have your toes pointing away from each other releasing your hip and let's come back draw the legs back they are about hip width apart and we're going to try a half cobra with your hands underneath your shoulders again Remember don't compress the lower back lengthen through the front So the feet are hip width apart forehead on the mat stretch the toes out and press the tops of your feet gently down towards the mat bring the hands either directly under the shoulders or a little outside wherever you feel good And we do a small movement not very big keeping the elbows bent and squeezing them in towards the body inhale and rise up rise up to the point where you can hold without pressing into your hands and you're using all the muscles from the navel up to the chest to lengthen your body and release again rest for a moment so legs active stomach active back muscles will work as well but you don't want to press into your lower back let's try that one more time inhale and rise up get a forward feeling squeeze the the elbows in raise the hands off the mat so you're using your back to stay there take 3 deep breaths shoulders relax press down the back elbows close deep and gently come down to the mat make a pillow with your hands turn your head to the other side again and bring the big toes together this time See if you feel more comfortable this way in the crocodile pose. Rest for a while, feeling your abdomen gently pressing against the mat every time you inhale. And come back to the center. This time we're going to try the same thing, the half cobra or baby cobra with the heels pressed against each other. The so feet are together, heels pressing in, hands directly underneath the shoulders or slightly outside, forehead on the mat. press down into the tops of the feet inhale and come up lengthening lengthening your back lift the hands up take 3 deep breaths press the shoulders down elbows in and gently relax let's try going a little higher if your back allows you you shouldn't be feeling any pain in your lower back so you bring your hands once more underneath the shoulders press the tops of the feet down keep the legs active lift through the navel all the way up to the chest press the shoulders down as you come up bring the elbows in towards each other inhale look up keep breathing and gently release relax the legs stretch the arms out in front of you and just take three deep breaths we're just going to try one more variation for our last variation separate the feet bring them hip width apart bring the hands close to your waist relax there for a moment press down in the tops of the feet let the knee caps be nice and active inhale and just raise up Don't even think of looking up just lengthen your back press the shoulders down bring the elbows in Make sure you're not feeling any discomfort or compression in your lower back you're rising up without doing that and release This time we're going to try and straighten the arms without rising up to the shoulders As you inhale press down into the tops of the feet bring the shoulders down the back and press up If this is where you need to stop 
and if you go further the shoulders are going to come up stop there either look straight ahead or gently draw the chin up if you feel you can stretch more without straining your lower back stretch up look straight ahead for now and take three deep breaths pressing the shoulders down not letting them come up pressing down into all parts of your palm and gently come down again bring your hands under the shoulders sit up and come to child's pose to release and round the back so we're doing an opposition we've been arching the back for a while we're just going to stay here for a good 5 to 6 breaths stay longer if you need to stay longer So that was Bhujangasan the cobra pose helps you stretch up like a snake but be very mindful that you don't compress or strain your lower back when you're doing this pose if at first it is difficult for you to hold the pose for long periods of time you can shorten the amount of time you hold it hold for a few breaths release your back and then try again two to three times more eventually when you're comfortable and confident of holding the posture you can hold for 20 to 30 seconds It's a wonderful pose to strengthen the spine, firm the buttocks. It also works the legs and it's a great chest opener. So it helps you connect with yourself by opening your heart, allowing you to breathe more freely. That was Bhujangasan. If you've enjoyed the video, remember to share and don't forget to subscribe to the channel Mind Body Soul.